While Sora impresses with its photorealism and intricate details, Google's Genie takes a different but equally exciting path. Genie, a foundation world model trained solely on internet videos, can't compete with Sora's video generation abilities. Instead, it excels in a unique area, creating an endless variety of playable 2D platformer worlds based on images you provide. Picture this, throw any image at Genie, be it a muddy swamp or a frozen wasteland, and it will transform into a playable level with a character you can control. This character isn't just a static image, it can move in all four directions, up, down, left, and right, allowing you to explore the world Genie crafted. Isn't that next level insane? What truly sets Genie apart is its specialization. Unlike Sora's diverse skill set, Genie focuses solely on video game creation, making it the first publicly announced AI game developer of its kind. This specialization might seem limiting, but the ability to generate entire playable worlds based on your imagination is mind-boggling for any gamer. We can all agree that this is a development no one quite expected, especially with the speed at which it arrived. While we might not be fully prepared for the possibilities Genie unlocks, Google DeepMind is clearly pushing the boundaries, bringing the future of gaming closer than ever before. First, to understand how Google Genie works, let's dive into its training data. Genie wasn't shown specific instructions or pre-designed levels. Instead, it learned through a massive data set of 200,000 hours of unsupervised video game footage. That's like watching video games nonstop for over 8,300 days. This immense amount of data, coupled with its astounding 11 billion parameters, allows Genie to absorb the essence of countless games and build a complex understanding of mechanics and styles. This training is the foundation for its ability to generate unique and playable worlds. Now, let's discuss the architecture of this model, the blueprint for how Genie works. It's made up of three key components, the spatial temporal video tokenizer, an auto-regressive dynamics model, and a simple and scalable latent action model. Let's delve into them. This component is like a language translator for video games. It breaks down video game footage into smaller pieces called tokens, similar to how words are broken down into individual letters and symbols. Imagine you have a movie. The tokenizer would chop it up into smaller scenes, then break each scene down further into individual frames. But it goes beyond just frames. It also considers spatial information, meaning it breaks down each frame into smaller sections, capturing the different elements within it like characters, objects, and backgrounds. This detailed breakdown allows Genie to understand the relationships between different parts of the video and how they change over time. In simpler terms, the tokenizer takes video game footage and chops it into small, digestible chunks that the foundation model can understand. The spatio-temporal part just means it considers both the time, frames, and the space, different areas within each frame, when breaking down the footage. The next component is called the auto-regressive dynamics model. This one's a bit more complex, but let's break it down. Imagine you're watching a video game and trying to predict what happens next. The autoregressive model does something similar. It analyzes the spatio-temporal patterns. Remember how things change over time and space. In the video game data learned by the tokenizer, based on this analysis, it essentially predicts the future of the game world. Think of it like this. You've seen countless levels, enemies, and character movements during training. The autoregressive model uses this knowledge to predict how the game environment will evolve in a new world, creating a coherent and playable experience. So this is where the magic happens. Genie uses its past knowledge to predict and build the future of the video game world you'll explore. Finally, we have the simple and scalable latent action model. This one might sound complicated also, but it's actually quite cool. In simpler terms, this is where Genie learns how your character moves and interacts with the world. Imagine different buttons on your controller. Jump, move left, or move right. This model understands how these actions translate into movement within the game world. What's impressive is that Genie's understanding of these actions is not only diverse and consistent, but also interpretable. This means that after playing for a while, 
you'll naturally figure out how the controls work, like mapping button presses to actions like jumping or moving left. This part is crucial because it highlights that Genie isn't just good at generating 2D game levels. It truly grasps the fundamentals of movement and how the basic actions can be applied to navigate different terrains. Genie's potential goes beyond the 2D world it currently operates in. The developers at Google DeepMind have hinted at its broader capabilities. They train Genie on robotics data without actions, and it still managed to learn and control a simulated environment. This suggested that Genie's model is general and not limited to 2D applications. This is a promising step toward developing general world models, which are crucial for achieving artificial general intelligence. Believe it or not, the gaming landscape is about to undergo a revolution. Get ready for a future where games are not just played, but created through your imagination. While Genie is currently a research model, not yet available to the public, its potential is undeniable. We know it can generate 2D game levels based on images, but we don't yet know if it can handle text prompts or even video prompts. However, the rapid advancements in AI suggest it won't be long before Genie and similar tools become fully integrated into various industries. The future of gaming, and perhaps even other creative fields, is on the horizon, and Genie is just the beginning. How would you use this technology to unleash your imagination? While we wait for your response to that question, we must admit that this is not all gold and roses for every new tech, and there is always a downside to them. What's that saying again? Not all that glitters is gold? Here's what we think. On the positive side, Genie opens the door for unprecedented levels of user-generated content, allowing players to become creators and design their own unique gaming experiences. This fosters creativity, personalization, and potentially even wider accessibility in the gaming world. Additionally, the ability to create games based on diverse stimuli like images and potentially even text prompts could lead to richer and more diverse narratives. However, concerns remain. The reliance on AI-generated content could potentially diminish the value and appreciation for handcrafted game design. Additionally, the ethical implications of AI-powered game creation need careful consideration. Who owns the rights to these user-generated games? What safeguards will be in place to prevent the creation of harmful or offensive content? And of course, what happens to the good old human video game developers who may soon be relegated to the sidelines like almost every other industry AI sets its eyes on? Ultimately, Genie is a powerful tool with the potential to revolutionize the gaming landscape. However, it's crucial to approach this technology with critical thinking and responsible implementation to ensure it enhances the gaming experience for all while mitigating potential negative consequences. What to tell your friends tomorrow? The way we play games is about to be genified. Brace yourselves for user-generated content on steroids where anyone can become a game developer. This raises some questions. Will handcrafted games become a thing of the past? And who owns these AI-created worlds? One thing's for sure, the future of gaming is about to get unpredictably exciting.